Hey, I'm Mojo. RuneScape, a world of endless ways to tell your story and choose your path. Welcome to the story of my Zaylocked challenge-oriented ultimate Iron Man, where as I level my stats and complete preset goals, more of Zaya becomes available to me. Welcome to the Trails of Zaya. Alright, episode 2. <clears throat> so we're starting off where uh, we left off last time, just here. And I think what I'm going to start by doing is getting a small cash stack. So a bit of thieving, uh, cake stalls, that way we can get food, some food, um, and whatnot. So I'm going to thieve a couple men. I'll come back to you in a bit. There we go. Level 2 thieving. So um, I had a bit of an audio problem with my um, recording, so uh, for like the next uh, for like 30 minutes of footage I don't have any sound, so uh, I'm going to give a brief description and I'm just going to show you the, the big uh, the keynote, but uh, we got five thieving, uh, we then went towards the Kren Castle and had a look around looking for some item spawns um, and whatnot. We stole some cakes from the cake stall um, to get some food. We looked around in the catacombs of Krend and um, we started killing men, women, imps to see what kind of drops we could get. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and now back to, uh, to, to, to me in the past. And there we go, there we go, the iron dagger. So, best in slot weapon for a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit nicer than just kicking and punching people. So, uh, pretty lucky, got it nice and early. So, put this on the lunge and, and uh, get a couple strike levels. So, uh, I'll be back once uh, we get some more, more loot. So, I found a highway man, so we'll be able to get a cape here. And, um, and I'm gonna have to look at his drop table because maybe he drops other stuff other than just the cape, so. We'll see what we get. So I'm currently in the catacombs trying to kill this um, this hill giant here. Um, been at it for a while now. Um, hoping it's worth it. <laughs> and if not, I'm just gonna go back to to men and women and try and get my stats up a bit higher. So no more HP. We're lucky, we're really lucky. There's a steel longsword, iron full helm, uh, iron kite, and we get the insoled head and the, the cause of cruise. My goodness. And there it is, the second armor upgrade on the account. Uh, bronze med helm to go with the uh, black highwayman cape. So that's pretty much all we can get uh, armor wise from the uh, minimum. Um, I've already got uh, our current best in slot weapon with the uh, Iron Dagger. Um, I guess we're just going to train up a couple more levels. Um, maybe we can head back down into the, um, uh, back down into the catacombs. Um, try another hill giant or two. Let's see how that goes. Well, it happened. Um, first death. Um, account ruined, but it's fine, we will act like this never happened, and as much as I want to pick up everything that I can see here, I'm not going to, and we're just going to get back to Zaya like if none of this ever happened. Alright, we just gotta hit it one more time here, um, hopefully we get the kill and we don't have to go get more food. instant for me it was a good 20 minutes so um yeah i think i'm gonna head back to uh so we've got our first quiz master we're gonna go do it um because there's a couple things here that we can actually get here goes nothing oh 
<laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> oh man, I don't even want to know how rare that is. So this is pretty interesting. We've got that our first uh, easy clue, and it's actually a step we can do. Um, so I'm thinking of holding on to it. Uh, we'll see if inventory gets in the way later. But uh, thinking of holding on to it for a while. Um, I'm not going to juggle because either way, I can't. I can't do it right now. So uh, yeah, we'll just hold on to it and see. Uh, see if we get lucky later on. There we go, our first upgrade here at the Hill Giants. Um, just been kind of going back and forth between men and women, Hill Giants. And uh, we got it right in full home. That's going to be a nice upgrade compared to the Bronze Men Hill. And, uh, some big bones. So uh, let's go grab some more food and uh, try and get a couple more kills. And then we go the side-by-side -side upgrade with the iron full hunt. We've got the iron kite shield. That's going to be really good for killing these hail giants just to survive a little bit longer. So, let's go. Well, our first Dr. Jekyll. I don't remember what we get for giving him a guam, but uh, we're going to get a potion, so... We're getting a strength potion. Nice. So, uh... That'll actually be kind of useful. I'm uh, trying to train now. So uh, we'll use it uh, sparingly, but uh, I don't know. 12 ish for lore, we do have one here. So, And there we go. That is the final upgrade that I can really get from, um, from these guys. So uh, this is actually a really good upgrade. And an ancient charm. Well, not going to be useful, really. Um, but. Uh, uh, definitely steel bombs were much better than the iron dagger. A little slower, a little lot, a lot stronger. So getting some kills, getting some training in that should be a little bit easier. Okay, so we've been here for a little while now. Um we now have base 20 melee stats, 21 hit points, 13 prayer, um 20 thieving. And we ended up getting our blur level just from cleaning Guam leaves. So um that's looking really good. Um, we're still 62 levels away from being able to unlock a second region, second part of Zaya. And um, I've been looking at it here, and I've been thinking, you know what, um, as much as this is very tempting, uh, Arceus, because then we get magic, we would get, um, uh, obviously, we don't like woodcutting, fire making, and fletching with uh, the items we can get up here at Winter to Hunt. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, we get rune crafting and magic training here as well, but that's pretty much it. Um, but when I look at Hasidius, Hasidius unlocks us both um, woodcutting, fire making, and fletching again. It also unlocks construction, which is really important. It unlocks farming, which as you can see in my inventory, I would really like to have a, a leprechaun to be able to note these herbs. Um, and not lose them. Um, it also gives us a better spot to cook. Um, we get the fourth O's dungeon. We get the spinning wheel. So we also will be able to unlock range training. Um, overall, I think Hasidius is going to be a better second choice. Um, we'll be able to get to 400 combat a lot, or sorry, 400 total level a lot quicker than if we went with Arceus. Um, so, yeah, no, I think we're going to go with, um, I think we're going to go with Hasidius, and, um, yeah, for now, uh, I have to kind of think what are my next step here, because i got to get to 62 more levels, um, fishing and cooking is possible, because uh, I do believe here at the anchovies we'd be able to get shrimp as well, so work our way shrimp to anchovies, and then up to salmon trout. So that would be good for fishing and cooking. Obviously, got to do some inventory management here. Um, and that's the thing, if we could get 30 in each, we'll, we'll pretty much be there and we'd need just a level or two in combat. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this uh, episode here. Uh, we kind of have a plan going forward if we want to head towards more um, Asidius or Archaeus. I think we're going to go towards uh, the Asidius house. Um, and yeah, next episode uh, we'll get uh, the remaining total level needed. And then we'll be able to um, head down into Hesidius and uh, start doing other stuff. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.